and gentlemen welcome back to red dead redemption when we last left off well that was weird what the fuck why are we being shot at everything is fine when we last left off we uh, had captured javier finally and bagged him and sent him packing off to the government now Let's go continue working for Abraham, shall we? Because this guy seems to be pretty solid. I mean, he's given us uh, one of the people that we wanted, which is way better than Allende managed. So, you know, positives. Uh, I'm guessing that's the same Javier that's supposed to be in the second game. Now, I know there's a character called Javier in the second game because, um, you know, we've, I've done some, you know, missions with him. But um, I didn't actually... Ah, it's not too far away. Uh, I did actually get too far into the story in that game. You know, I got to, I think, the second chapter. And I just got so busy with all the side stuff and just keeping the camp surviving and alive by hunting and that kind of stuff. It's basically where I spent all my time, you know, with hunting and foraging for the camp. I didn't really see how you would have any time to do any of the actual missions, but we'll have another look at that when we get to that game. Because, uh, yeah, one, one big aspect of that game was you've got a camp um, and you've got to keep it stocked with food and supplies and things and that's that's, that's a full-time job <laughs> so yeah getting the balance of keeping the camp healthy and happy um, and fitting the missions of the game in is, is no easy task because you know in the second game you don't just hunt a deer by going out and shooting it Oh no. no! No 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 no! Hunting a deer is quite an involved thing, um, and hunting anything in that game is kind of quite an involved thing. But um, yeah, <laughs> we'll we'll see how that holds up. It looks like loads of people have been murdered here. Well, I don't mind if I go for a rummage around a few people's pockets. Sorry, mate. I'll take whatever your missus had. Now. Let's go and see what's uh, been going on around here. I don't know if this is set dressing or if something bad has actually happened around here. Okay, and we're back. Been a quick pause for you. It's been about five hours for me. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. By <clears throat> the way, we're just walking through. Okay, but you fight like men. You 
Sounds reasonable. Oh god. Okay. Let's see if I can remember what I learned like three months ago. Well, not that long ago, but still. Alright. Let's see if we can't disarm this gentleman. So unfortunately, Louisa is dead. Which is really unfortunate. No, okay, so I still don't... I still don't get it. Every time I think I've like worked out how it works, it doesn't work. Unless, maybe you can't disarm him. Maybe you just have to shoot him. Let's try that. This is actually a really good place to learn how to do it properly because it takes you straight here every time. All right. So we're just gonna plop one in his head and see what happens. Technically, we've got the first shot off this time, but still, it doesn't. I have no idea. Do you? Act... Hmm. Unless, how do we fill the bar up? Is that? Because I thought that just goes up on its own. <sighs> All right, once more, Mr. Marston. Once more. There's many realities, Marston, where you die. But, but what did I, <laughs> what did I do differently? I don't know. All right, whatever. Uh huh. Well, we can do that. What about your uh, peasant girl wife? I guess. Fuck her, right? Kind of sad that she died for literally nothing. Hmm. We will save the prisoners. So, Louisa, does she, does she get a, a mention? At all? Or maybe that wasn't actually her. Pretty sure it was, though. Oh, hang on. One second, guys. Yep, not killing peasants on my watch. Alright. So, it looks like this like main assault didn't actually go that what the hell did he have? He had like some automatic shotgun. Do dad. It's literally opened me up like a tin of fucking beans. Alright, well. <clears throat> at least nobody cares if I loot uh, Louisa. I suppose. And I suppose she had a quick death as well. So, could have been worse. Falling in love, huh? It's a dangerous game. Come on. Right, let's screw you. And you. There we go. That'll work. That will work nicely. Can't help but notice we've for some reason drawn that piece of shit. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's even worth looting enemies anymore. Come on, John. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's not... Okay, sometimes the auto-aim just doesn't even uh, try to work. Kind of like when we were hunting that bobcat down. <clears throat> yeah, when we were trying to kill that bobcat, there was like zero auto-aim, apart from the fact that it did I suppose lock onto that man's dog which was awkward I guess <coughs> alright excuse me gentlemen you you and you there we go fastest gun in the west you you 
Apparently someone behind us is still shooting at us. Did you survive somehow? <coughs> or maybe he came from in there. <coughs> maybe. Alright. There's also another gentleman running this way. Which we will not have. As much as I'm not the biggest fan of Mr. Abraham. In fact, I kind of wouldn't be opposed to seeing him die horribly, if I'm being honest. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good thing his weapon like malfunctioned or something. That was all for, uh, almost awkward. Alright. Okay. Right, let's get you boys out of here. Really? Okay, cool, got ya. Right, come on, let's get out of here. Plenty of weapons outside to be picked up. Is there any, like, loot? Hey. That was weird. I guess some of the locks required two bullets. Alright, Mr. Abraham, let's go and see what's next on the murder uh, schedule. Or who's next on the murder schedule? Oh, this way, okay. Could have uh, given me some warning there, man. God, this gun is ridiculous. You can see why it uses different type of ammo. It really is just ridiculous with that auto aim. <laughs> Look, literally, he has no remorse at all for Louisa. Kind of crazy. I'm guessing that's by design. But then maybe she's better off dead, let's be honest. Who is behind us? Nobody care about the guy behind us? Are you still in training? <laughs> Are you still in tra How do we die? What? How did that happen? You know what? Maybe, just maybe, we'll switch up to the auto shotgun. We want a weapon that uh, we are absolutely certain has put them down. At least to the best of our ability. This ain't going too well, is it, guys? Ooh. Yeah, that doesn't leave a lot left. Alright, maybe it's not as powerful as I was hoping it was going to be. Let's try the double action. I get the feeling this is a powerful gun. That wasn't too bad. Alright, push them back. Can we reload, John? Alright, let's see who we've got. I've got you. Ooh, that's gonna sting. That'll do. Oh, God. Wait, is that one of ours? Well, I have no idea. That was kind of interesting. Yeah, I am helping you, but these guys apparently can shoot through cover. Who would have thought? <coughs> Alright, maybe. Maybe. Let's take the roll and block. And we're just going to sneak up little by little. Because there's just way too many of them to get close to. Let's see those little heads of yours. One for you. One for you. We've got plenty of these. Yeah, notice they've captured the machine gun. That is a slight concern. And mowing the peasants down left and right. Yeah, I can't see these guys. Not really. Even with the rifle. Oh, I see. Right, his silly hat let him down there. Okay. This is interesting. We can actually move with the sniper rifle. 
I was not aware of that. It's actually quite nice to know. Right now, guys. <laughs> shot his hat off. Oof. Guys, if you could just handle that, like, one guy. No? No? Not, not even gonna handle the one guy? Okay. I guess that one guy's running away. Yeah, so the way you snap into the scope, it kind of spins you out a little bit. <laughs> Alright, this is more like it. We are severely running out of ammo though. But that's okay. That gun needs to be dealt with. Oh god. That gun really hurts. Oof. Right, you are. Uh, consider yourselves helped. Oh god, there's another dickhead on the gun now. Uh, oof, okay. No running in this man's army. Oh, you knob. Alright, took a while, but we got there. That was a hard fought battle. Do we get to man the gun now? I guess so. Alright, you. You do that. I'll, I'll cover us, apparently, from somewhere. That way, maybe? Do not shoot the. Oh! <laughs> kind of be funny if we just blew him in half. Now this is more like it. Oof, chewing them up. I think... I think old boy in that mansion's about to have a very bad time. Alright, let's go. Um, I don't really want to keep using the rifle, but... Does seem to be a pretty reliable weapon, in all fairness. Come on, let's see that head. Well, okay, that was questionable. Ooh, there we go. Come on. Ooh, right, but swing the eyes. Yep. This guy's going to have a very bad day indeed. <clears throat> and I'm glad we get to enjoy it. Come on, let's go. Oh. Uh, there is? Of course there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it, I got it, I got it. Might have been worth hanging on to that gun, actually. Excellent. Right, well, one man army. Once again. At least we have unlimited ammo on this thing. Just grinding away. A thousand rounds at a time. Now, I don't think we can use bullet time or dead eye whilst we're in this thing, sadly. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty futile. Oh, they're running away. I guess most of them probably should stay at home, John. But that's not the world we live in. No, sir. Williamson, we finally got the dog. Okay, well. Oh, wait a minute. That's questionable. Yeah, well, Bill's kind of rapidly getting away there, John. 
<laughs> it didn't have to be this way, Bill. As uh, we're getting our ass literally full of lead. Can we get up? Ah, son of a bitch. Can we call the horse? Uh, kind of, but he's... The wrong side of heaven, sadly. That'll do. Thin the herd. Come on. There we go. Jesus. Right, midnight, you almost got me killed there. Almost. Now, let's go get ourselves a Williamson. And if we get the opportunity to kill Matey Boy at the same time, sure. Oof. Wait a minute, where are they? Alright, let's see. Can we not take a shortcut? I guess not. There we go. Alright, stop being a bitch horse, honestly. Damn. Reigns is just like going ham with these guys. Come on. Really? Dead Eye not? Okay, maybe Dead Eye doesn't do the trick. This has been a rough one. An appointed time. Sigh. Right, once more feeling, huh? Hopefully. I'm guessing if we just kill the horses, if we can. Ooh, god damn. Right, let's try that again. There can't be many horses left. Is there two or is there one? <clears throat> so he fucked with Abigail, apparently. I don't think so. So Abigail is us, our wife. Oh, you are kind of screwed now, my lad. I hope. Now, just one more. There we go. So, I'm going to predict that our friend is now going to have a bad time. <laughs> that was quite nicely done, if I say so myself. I don't think that's gonna happen. You're the one who let Dutch drive you insane. Dutch wanted you dead. We all did. Well, I'm going after him next. I'll outlive all of you. You always was a traitor, you bastard orphan. And you always was a dumb inbred. <laughs> so we do him. Shame your wife ain't gonna see it. <laughs> My people are free, and it is all thanks to you, John. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Luisa. Oh, yeah. She, she was very brave, and she will be missed. Who was she again? <laughs> Peasant girl wife to be? Oh yes, of course. She she would have a day named after me. Laura day. <laughs> Luisa. What? Oh yes, I, I know Laura as well. Magnificent girl. Like riding a pompous bull. <laughs> oh, this guy's an ass. Enough about sport. Let's get back to politics. I trust you will join us in riding on the capital. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Uh, gente, hacen? Levanten, sí. 
Well, I must say, I miss you, young Marshal. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Mm. Well, tell us, Abraham, we'll close now. Yeah, I very much doubt he's going to have any kind of recollection of what we did here, who he was shagging, uh, or any of that, to be honest. In fact, I would wager if we ever came back here, he'd probably have us shot for some reason. Anyway, the good news is we can now go to the Great Plains, which is kind of like the last and final uh, area that uh, this game has to offer. This is also where the bears are. And there's a lot of uh, things that we can discover. So with that, this entire map is now open to us, which leaves us nicely set up for the next recording session. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.